everybody, it's Joe the Locksmith. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Autel IM608 Pro 2. Let's get it unboxed and we'll check it out. All right, here's the 608 Pro 2. I gotta say, in this case, it is huge. Just for comparison, here's the IM608 1 case. Here's the Pro 2 case. See, so I can put them side by side. Six oh eight on the left, six oh eight pro two on the right. All right, let's open up the case. Let's see what we got inside. All right, here's our six oh eight pro two. Here's our new JVC on the box. see here both machines side by side the 608 pro 2 the latest generation it's on the left side on the right side is the 608 pro the first generation you can see right away in the main software on the screens difference in the operating systems on the left the 608 pro 2 it's using the latest android 10.0 version on the right the first generation it's using the older Android 4.4.2 operating system. The difference in the machines is mainly all hardware differences. There's really no software coverage differences between the two tools. The 608 Pro 2 is not adding more key programming coverage, not adding more diagnostic coverage, programming coverage. The coverage is still the same. The differences is mainly in the hardware. So besides the Android operating system that you see, also the 608 Pro 2 has more hard drive space. The 608 Pro 2 has four gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of flash memory. Whereas the 608 Pro, the first generation, has two gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of flash memory. Now also, if you look at the J2534, the vehicle communication interfaces. We'll pull them side by side. Here's the 608 Pro 2. Here's the 608 Pro. See, they both have port for USB. The 608 Pro 2 is using its own version 2 cable, only compatible with the version 2 cable. Just to show you, here's our version 2 cable here. Looks just like the version one, but this is the only cable that's working with the new J-Box. On this end, it's special, it's recessed here so that it can fit in the port. I'll show you. Just like so. This part here is recessed. So if we try to take, for example, the APC 101, it's not recessed and it won't fit in here and won't stay in. Can I use this standard USB? You have to use that blue version two point, version two cable. Okay, let's flip around the J boxes. On the old one, we see we have a DC 12 volt port for power and the regular OBD cable plug-in. Flip the new one around. Okay, you got the 12 volt, the VCI cable plug-in. Again, it's using the version two cable. And the version two cable essentially looks the same. Really no differences by looking at it. It's labeled version two. Now this one also has another port here. This is the DOIP port for ethernet. So this is mainly used for the new BMWs, the F-Series, the new Land Rovers are using it, Volvos. It's mainly for diagnostics and programming. Those vehicles require a higher speed connection. It's referred to as DOIP. And this is the connection that they use here. So that's now it's built into the new one. For it to work on this one, you'd have to have a, an adapter to work for that. 
So besides that DOIP, also the CANFD for the new GMs and the new Fords is also built into this new J box. Whereas the old one, you'd have to buy the CANFD adapter in order to use with it. So that's pretty much the main hardware differences between the two tools here, between the two generations. And we'll just kind of go through the software and then we'll take a look, we'll see a little bit of the, the software differences as well. So here, for instance, 608 Pro 2, let's go to IMMO. Here's our layout. We'll go to IMMO on the 608 Pro. Essentially the same layout. So let's see here in the 608 Pro 2, we'll open Lexus software. All right, this is how main software looks here when you open the manufacturer. We'll do Lexus on here as well. So a little bit of a difference there. If we pull up manual selection on the Pro 2, Shows you more of this list view. If we do a manual selection on the Pro. The view is like that. So for example, we can click USA. Go back here. USA. Let's say ES300. 2003. Okay. We'll do the same thing on this one as well. USA, ES300, 2002-3. So it pretty much brings us to the same menu. You can see how the software looks different. You have more of the icon view here. You have the list view on the 608 Pro. Typically, we go control unit, mobilizer. There's our options, our functions. Same thing here, control unit, mobilizer. And we have the same functions. Okay, we'll also show you the main home page. On this one, we can click the Android home. These are all of our Android apps. 608 Pro 2. Check out the 608 Pro with the home button. One difference I noticed is the 608 Pro has a hex editor built in for viewing bin files. The 608 Pro 2 does not come with a hex editor. It's not that essential, but that's one difference I noticed. Hopefully I'll tell be adding that in a future update. Here's our main software, Max CIM. Max CIM. And those are pretty much the essential differences. Taking a look side by side, the two generations, 608 Pro 2 on the left and 608 Pro first generation on the right. All right, we can also take a look at the ports on the top, which are essentially the same between the two machines. 608 Pro 2, you have your power on the left, headphone jack, USB, HDMI, USB, and another mini USB. And the 608 Pro, same thing. 12 volt, headphone jack, two USBs, HDMI, and the mini USB. Tablets are the same size, and they use the same battery capacity.